McDonald's was built on Big Macs. We were built on the 7-Up Pound Cake. It's a bun cake with a sugar lemon glaze over it. We do the kind of things your mama did. It's the closest thing to home that you can get. German chocolate cake, yellow chocolate cake, sweet potato pie, pecan pie, sakatumi cake. Those are the things that we had when we were kids growing up. So I've been coming here over 20 years. I come all the way from Castro Valley to get it. Growing up, you, you heard about the Black Panthers. Um, you were taught about the Black Panthers, and then when this place opened up, this wall has always been dedicated. And then all of a sudden you find out that this was one of their headquarters. It's like, wow, you have a piece of history that's been sitting here your whole life. And I kept saying, what do I want to name the bakery? I sat down and I started thinking. I said, I can imagine somebody coming in going, what is that cake right there? That's our seven up pound cake. Oh, that looks good. Uh, what is this right here? Oh, uh, ma'am, that's our sweet potato pie. Oh, that looks good too. And I imagine myself going, look, ma'am, it's all good. My family came to me and said, well, let's do a bakery. I'm like, I don't want to do no bakery. I want to be a rapper. You know, I had no interest in doing a bakery. And finally I said, okay, if we're going to do it, we're going to do it my way. And here we are 26 years later. These are Kim's grandmother's recipes. They come from way back. And so we haven't modified anything. They're the same good desserts that our grandparents were eating 50 years ago. One of the main staples would be the sweet potato pie. That has been something that has been in our lives, all of our lives. We bake fresh every day, and we bake from scratch. You know what I mean? And that's the way we were taught to do it. Okay, if you haven't been here, the sock it to me, or definitely the seven up pound. Easily one of the best ones. When you bought into the world's famous it's all good, 7-Up Pound Cake. And the reason why we call it 7-Up Pound Cake is we actually put real 7-Up in the cake batter. When you buy into that cake, that's gonna be one of the most delicious, moist cake that you have ever tried. Sweet potato pie cake. You know, that came about from my cousin. He took some of the actual batter that we were making our sweet potato pies with, and he poured it in, in some of the yellow cake mix. And he put that lovely cream cheese on it to top it off, and. It's been money ever since. So all the cakes are moist, I've had them all. But this one in particular with the sweet potato in it, it does add another layer of moistness, if you will. And then combined with the sweet cream cheese frosting, mm, delicious. One day I was in here helping a customer and uh, Bobby Seal came in from the Black Panthers. I went over and spoke to him, I said, hey Bobby, how you doing? My name is Kim Cloud. I was a kid, a part of the breakfast program when y'all had the breakfast program. He said, yeah, well, you know, this is our first location. I'm like, really? So when I purchased the building, I had no clue that this was the Black Panthers' first headquarters. This is the actual photo of them working inside the bakery right here. David Hilliard would come in here and change the display he took control of that wall. I said, well, you know what, David? This is your wall. Whatever you want to do with this wall, this is the Black Panther's wall. So he came and designed that. This comes with a great history. And there's a lot of older people that will come in here and you know, sit us down and explain their connection with the Black Panthers and how they used to be in this space for meetings and whatnot. When I'm in the Bay Area, you know I got to stop by and saw a good bakery. First location of the Black Panther Party. This building in particular has historical relevance, but also in our current stream of time in the world. Absolutely part of it is supporting a black owned business and doing my part by contributing and becoming, you know, a patron here. If someone didn't give me an opportunity and chance, what would I be right now today? As a little kid growing up in the streets of Oakland, I've been in trouble. And so when I finally turned my life around, I want to give the same people the same opportunity. And I've had people that um, the got to prison for bank robbery and they're on my cash register. It don't make no difference what you have done in your past. I'm here to give you an opportunity, give you a chance if you want to change your life. All I want you to do is come to work and be on time and do the best job that you can possibly do to keep everything, it's all good. You have to love what you do. I love baking. I love to see people smile. I love to see someone take a piece of pie or cake and smile and say, mm, this is delicious. And it makes me feel good that I'm on someone's table somewhere, someone's party, someone's dinner table, and it makes me feel good.